rid of the nails. <laughs> now I feel free as a bird. <laughs> yeah, notice I don't post much content when I have the nails. I just cannot sit in there. Oh. Hi, <laughs> Taurus. Hello, babes. Okay. This is going to be a late night read, babe. Okay, Taurus. Wherever you at, wherever you at in the world, honey, I'm so happy to have you here. Okay. This is not about how many views get onto these videos, babe. It's about who is who. Who may need a little bit of a read, babe, okay? If you feel that you may need something more personal, you may contact me or a beautiful other tarot reader on the platform, loves, okay? Because there, there's plenty of them. There's good ones, okay? Good ones. All right, babe, let's get into the read. Let's see what's going on late night, late night. Here, Taurus, it's almost midnight. So, let's go on ahead and see. What is the topic of this reading spirit? What is the main focus for Taurus? What would you like Taurus to know? Taurus, you know what I'm reading here? I'm going to be honest. There's someone, Taurus, that doesn't... They, okay. They genuinely don't know how to open up to you. Whether you're a man or a woman. If they're the opposite sex or the same sex, it doesn't matter. They just have a hard time opening up. Okay? So, this might be somebody that's, like, avoidant. They avoid trying to open up because the intrusive thoughts that they're not able to. They don't have a... It's not a safe space. The, the, the crazy thing is, Taurus, is you give this person the beautiful foundation to be able to be themselves. So you think that this person, Taurus, does not give any Fs about you. The thing is, they don't know how to express it. Okay? What's the message here for Taurus spirit? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey. So the main cards I put, I flew out the first time. Energy activation. Okay. We got exploring. That came out when y'all's read last week. Twin flame. So, wow. So, Taurus, many of you might have a twin here, and they're the avoidant, and you might be the uh, anxious attachment to them. Okay, in their eyes. All right. Ever after. <laughs> Taurus, no matter what you and this person do, y'all are always going to have feelings for each other. No matter who you guys are around, no matter what, the, they're going to be in the back of your mind as well as you theirs. Okay. There's just nothing you can do here. This person here, Taurus, they want to connect to the divine. They want to connect to the divine. They want to ask what kind of connection this is. They don't quite understand it. But what it is, it's a spiritual connection. It's a spiritual connection. It's like you and this person have been... Maybe the way you and this person met, Taurus, was very, like, weird. Like, you'll be like, what the heck? You'll be like, uh -uh, that's, you know, it wasn't intended. You both are probably not looking for anything special. It happens like that. Okay, it happens like that. All right, babe. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, oh. <laughs> okay, spirit, I got you. <laughs> it says, up the creek without a paddle. Stuck in a difficult situation with no way of getting out of it. This person might be stuck in a situation, Taurus, something that they don't want to be in. But this person really wants to, like, understand this connection. So they run and hide with connections that are more easier, if you will. Okay, something they're more familiar with. There we are. Now, the more they stay in that energy, the less, the less they don't grow. Okay, so this exploring that they go do and start getting too deep, this this here, the exploring in Twin Flame. Oh, scared, scared, scared. A ever after. Oh, no. Okay, I can really see myself with this Taurus for the rest of my life. Okay, wait a minute. Let me go and meditate. I need to connect with the divine. <laughs> I need to connect with something because I don't understand it. So they get freaked out, and then they're up, the, they're up the creek without a paddle. They get stuck in connections and situations that they can't get out of just because they're comfortable with being there. Okay, babe? I'm seeing a lot of water energy. Scorpio a lot, okay? I'm seeing Taurus. I'm seeing your energy as well without, without me putting cards out. So let's go. Spirit for Taurus, please, and thank you. The person connecting with Taurus. Yeah, look. Death card in the reverse. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. Nine of Cups. I'll sit here and adore Taurus, okay? I'll sit here and adore Taurus because when we go into exploring energy here, too deep, too deep, too deep. It's like Taurus, somebody in a swimming pool. You know how you kind of like naturally, a lot of people do. Some people don't. They just jump in. Cannonball. And they just <laughs> they go for it, Taurus. I think I'm the cannonball type person. I'm not gonna try to just like I'm not gonna try to like slowly get into the water because if I do, I'll just end up just not. I won't do. I'll be like this individual. <laughs> I'll get the heck out. So it's all or nothing. Um, wow, the star. Okay, Taurus. I doubled this deck. They truly want to understand this connection. It is very, very beautiful and healing to them. But that's the thing about it, that healing energy, especially with somebody that just avoids emotions, okay? They're not, um, if you're avoiding something, you're not trying to understand it or learn it. You need to take a break from it. So you and this person might have in and out energy, 
for you or or whether it's you or this person it doesn't matter love you guys trigger each other in some way shape or form Taurus it's like you're more I'm not gonna sit here look again I'm not saying this one's better but the choices you've made Taurus you've already been through what this twin has been through in a way okay you, you've been through transformation you understand the change you understand you know your, your discipline for a lot of you okay you're very powerful to this person it disturbs their peace of how powerful you are but they admire it ten of wands yes yeah, see that stress comes in with this ever after okay it's having that energy it's not having the energy it's having that vision of look this is someone i can actually spend the rest of my life with oh my gosh i gotta, I gotta go back out okay this person wants to understand this connection more towards but it stresses them out whoever you're dealing with the change that's refusing to be done here the transformation might i add the change that's refusing to be done here this person wants to connect and meditate and maybe pray okay like why is why am i feeling like this what does this mean why am i always like in this energy where i feel like okay three four two three <laughs> one two three go and then they get in that water and they're like okay where's the where's the floor Where's the bottom of this? Where is the bottom of this water? This is too deep. I got to get out. And then they're basically like a, they're just like a fish that jumps out of the, the page of cups. Okay. Um, Scorpio energy, like I said. Okay. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh, well, that's actually Pisces. So the Scorpio energy is star here, Aquarius. And then we got the Ten of Wands. Spirit, what, what is the Ten of Wands here for the person on Taurus's mind? Knight of Wands. So they act carefree. They dip out as quick as they come in the stress okay the stress so this person covers up their stress and things like that towards with anxiety and laughing and giggling so might, <laughs> uh, no not me Taurus so you might notice this person to do that okay and it's not that they're a coward they just need a little bit of assistance they, they get scared it gets too overwhelming okay it gets a little too overwhelming for this person so what does this person do spirit when they get overwhelmed by Taurus's loving beautiful bright energy Look at this, the Empress. They admire you. You see the Empress is on their throne. That's you, Taurus. Taurus, this is Taurus and Libra energy. Okay. Um, you're very, uh, you have a lot of knowledge of what this connection is. They just do not. So we have the Empress and the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands going towards the Empress. Yee. Okay. Yee. They got a lot of growing to do. But they're afraid of growth. I'm going to tell you right now. This person doesn't like it. Spirit, the death card in the reverse. This person on Taurus's mind. What is this death card in the reverse? Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles. They see you very like, um, oh gosh, they have a lot of love for you though. Six of Wands. They see, Taurus, I'm going to be honest with you. This person, they're so scared of the change because they're afraid of the success that this will bring. So they stay over here. Remember the ever after? They stay over here and it overwhelms them to think, God uh, dang it, if I come into this hot and heavy, this person's fickle. The, you, you see this knot of wands is going towards the empress here, okay? But the star is right between the empress and this person. So they get overwhelmed with seeing that star. I don't know what healing is. I don't know how to face the emotions. So I'm going to go to what? Something more comfortable, which is being confused. Okay, other options, even for some of you, Taurus, other options. Yeah, and they work on those things. But the, the thing about it is, Taurus, your person, they end up being sad. Okay, they end up being sad and have to think about the possibility of walking away from these options. Because all it does is put them in this energy yet again. This person, Taurus, there's no... There's a lot of lost energy here. They don't know which one they want to do. They don't know which one they want to do. This person likes attention, too. They like the attention, but they like instant gratification. Your person. So here you are, Taurus, the Queen of Pentacles, and they're the King of Cups. But they hide that. The King of Cups does not wear their heart on their sleeve, but the Six of Wands. They love that attention, though. They love the attention of people that actually see them as someone that's deep and that they could probably get into being in a relationship with. Hear this out. I heard this from someone I don't know. Go for the person that's not, don't go for a firecracker. Go for a fireplace. This person goes for firecrackers. This is what they like. Short term, not long lasting. There is no slow burn. It just happens. Crack, pop will crack, whatever. But in the energy of that, they end up without a paddle. They end up in stuff that they don't even want to be in. It ends up being lonely. It ends up being sad. And the change is not being made. So yet they got to admire something else from afar. And they have to worry about, wait, is this healing or is this not? And it gets stressful and worrisome with you. With other people, it's instant gratification. That's where the change doesn't come in. See, they see you. 
this energy activation that you bring to them, they see you like, you know, a very, very stable individual. Taurus, you don't have to have millions in the bank and you ain't got to have a Lexus. This person just loves your energy, okay? And there's nothing absolutely wrong with that. But the thing is, is that they're not ready to, if you see here at the King of Cups, you see that fat cup and the skinny cup? It looks like this person is not going to give that cup to anyone. In fact, their foot is barely trying to get, they're like, I'm not, to, they may seem as if their, their foot's going to touch the water. They're going to get in their emotions, but they never do. They never get off of that, okay? So the instant gratification is what's fun, all right? They want a successful connection with you, but right now what's fun for them and what's lighthearted is them not getting into the deep waters exploring anything. Spirit, give me something for this empress here. What does Taurus feel about this person that's up creek without a paddle? You're putting up your boundaries, love. Okay. You do like this person. You do enjoy their company, but you already know where it's going to go. Okay. So you just stop it before it. it you, this person has a way of betraying you without knowing they've done that. Okay. It's like, uh, you know, if they want to test the waters, you don't want them coming near you with it. And that's understandable, Taurus. Spirit, what's this ten of swords for how Taurus feels about this specific person? They can't play with you. Yeah. Not a cups in reverse. You're not taking a teenage love. You're not. You're not going to even be. <laughs> See, knight of cups in the verse, knight of wands in the upright. Yeah, this person does send you a lot of telepathic communication, okay? Because they know that you're balanced. They know that you're balanced. And they know that you're very, very high in favor, okay? Because you already kind of know what's going on here, all right? But it makes you look at it, Taurus, like, you know what? I've evaluated what I need to, and I think I'm going to move forward. And this person goes off to other lovers, and things like that, hoping that they find that same energy that they find in you. But guess what? It's a blockage. They stay in their head about you. They block themselves out because they're not going to find this anywhere else, especially not in these energies. Even if this is um, a major arcana, Gemini energy, that's not where they're going to find that, okay? These, these, you've already evaluated what was going on, and this person stays up late at night in their head. They can't see. They can't see. You know, and so when you do move on, okay, Taurus, this person comes in wanting to call truce. Let's try this again. Let's revive it. Taurus, let's communicate. Let's take, I want to take that leap of faith yet to be in their head yet again about your balance. And so, you know what? You go on ahead and you say, you know, <laughs> you know it, it, it's pretty much cooked. <laughs> I don't need to pork no more forks. I don't need to do any of that. You turn your back on even trying to expect this person to make any changes. And that... You stay in your healing, and they stay in the Five of Cups. And as they admire you, that Nine of Cups, they see you strong. This person's afraid, okay? So some of them may need therapy, okay? Yeah, but I just don't feel towards here at this time that this person, even though they're your twin towards you and this person are very, are very similar, but yet very different. This person wants Ever After so badly that they actually get overwhelmed by it. What's the work I have to put in? Okay, I'll go back to the uh, to other things or the drawing board. It doesn't have to be other people. It can, just be, it can even be hobbies, places, and things that just make them feel comfortable. Yet, Taurus, they stay in the energy of stagnancy. And you move forward, okay, with that star energy because you're, you are healing. You are love. You are, in some way, shape, form, been through that kind of, maybe not exactly what this person's went through, but you understand it. So you're not mean to this person. You just already know what it's going to bring in. A lot of childish energy, and it's going to end up being, you'll end up being portrayed, betrayed in some way by this person. So you say, screw it. Boundaries up. I'll talk to you, but that's about it. This person can't get in your, they can't get your energy. This person's like a person, Taurus, that likes to have their cake and eat it too. But you're not having it. You know your worth. If they only knew theirs. We saw the Queen of Cups with the Death card. See? You and this individual want the same thing, but the Death card was in the upright with the Queen of Cups. Queen, the King of Cups here is with the Death card in the reverse. They refuse to make that shift, that change, that activation. You already have done it. Your head's down, you're looking at your cup, and you're doing pretty good, okay? Spirit, what's the probable outcome for Taurus and this individual? Please and thank you at this late night. The person on Taurus's mind. Okay, Spirit, what's the probable outcome? They'll catch up. Just, they're going to catch up. They're never going to get that Ace of Pentacles. Remember that Ace of Pentacles I told you with that Lover's Card, Taurus? 
they're going to catch up. They're not going to find this in anything else. It's like you and this individual were meant to be here for you to activate this person to see that there is true, there is true, stable, tangible individuals out there. Okay, maybe this person with the Knight of Wands here likes to jump into bed. I, I don't know. Normally, the Knight of Wands is like player energy. But the same sense, while they're in that energy, they're still overwhelmed regardless. And they cannot stop thinking about you. But you put up boundaries, okay? Now, how they're going to get past some boundaries or whatever, or, you know, rematch. The judgment card. <laughs> uh, Scorpio energy. You know, that's up to them. But I told you what I was seeing here. I was seeing, like, Scorpio, and I was seeing, like, Earth. I forgot what I said, but, and here it is. It started with the death card in the reverse, and here it is ending out with the ace of pentacles. So, the probable outcome is the ace of pentacles. You and this person reuniting, okay, and they're going to come in here, okay, for some of you. That's not for everybody. Spirit, um, give me two cards. I'm not going to doubt it all. Of course, this person don't love you. I ain't going to say that, but I'm going to tell you this. They got a lot to learn. And they're not going to learn it with wherever, you know, wherever they think they're going to get that from. It, it's like someone wants something from you, but they think they can get it from other people. And everybody's not an empress. Everybody's not an emperor. No, they're not. Hmm. Okay, so we have in-depth. Okay, it says connecting on a deeper level or complex feelings. It says heartfelt. Okay convulted okay in depth so i feel that that explains the the ace of pentacles here it's a very big pentacle so it's very solid but they're afraid of things that don't turn bad that's weird in depth we have enchanted whisper listen to your heart and take a chance on love this is what they have to do okay it's going to take them some time but they can do it wonder dreams and promise yeah they do a lot of dreaming, a lot of, you know, in their head. Enduring bond. Put your family first and spend time together. Dear, priority, and mindful. It's like you both want the same things, but one already is kind of like ready, and the other one's like, let me just test it out. And the, okay, it's too much. They have rafter sticks out here. <laughs> it's two older people, you guys. Hold on, Tori. Let me show you guys. Did I just show y'all? Look at them chilling. <laughs> They've been through everything together. Don't they look like what they've been through together? That's the main thing here, okay? Whatever this is. So, Taurus, that's been the reading, babes, okay? I love you guys to the moon and back, Taurus. Thank you so much for joining. Stay joyful, stay powerful, Taurus, and stay at peace, okay? Um, trust in yourself. Be secure within your decisions. And anybody that disagrees and anybody that's trying to rush you to make decisions, distance yourself. And then you know deal with your drawing board and go back to whatever it is you're looking at and look at it in, in your way Taurus you're never making a bad decision it's other people that want to convince you that you're making a bad decision because they have an agenda I love you guys so much Taurus mwah, mwah, mwah. bye